Hello and welcome back to my series on fusing dichroic glass. Because so many of my projects involve using glass at least five and a half or six inches in diameter, I thought I'd better provide a useful source for buying dichro, because I've certainly discovered some ways not to buy dichro. So when I talk to glass fusers about different dichro fusing techniques, I hear this a lot. Ooh, dichro is so expensive. I, I don't use it because it's so expensive. So this is actually a, a printout from an online catalog page from a website that sells stained glass and glass fusing supplies, sort of hobby level stuff. And uh, $100 for one pound of broken scraps and here's uh, hundred and four dollars for one pound of broken scraps on thin di you know thin glass just couldn't believe it it's amazing because I'm paying two hundred dollars for a, a full 19 inch sheet so this is where I get my die crow it's a company called CBS and they actually have a an online catalog and they sell retail online as well as wholesale so that's my source. So this is the way to buy dichro that makes any economic sense at all. It's buying 10 pieces at a time. That reduces the shipping cost considerably per piece. And you can develop a good pricing relationship with the company if you place orders of 10 sheets at a time. So if you can't do that on your own, then get together with a few friends and split an order. The first thing I do when I receive a order like this is I make a I take a little sample piece off each sheet and I do a test fusing of it and number them. I've ordered a little over 200 sheets in the last five or six years and the only time I had any breakage was I had two sheets broken once when my order was shipped by UPS by mistake. So I, I highly recommend using the, the post office and not UPS. Yeah, so I just take a, a little tiny snip off each sheet for testing. And I'm sure to number it right away. I've gotten them mixed up before and it's very confusing. And I also date them so I, I know which test sheet I'm looking at. The testing is really important. Look at this one here. It's 2019 and they stopped using these labels probably seven years ago. And this is very old stock. So if I take a, a test piece off here and fuse it and I like it, if I order this again, who knows what they'll send me. So that's why it's super important to test every single piece. So here I'm testing my clear pieces from this order and I've got the coating side face up. And I'm going to cover half of it with a piece of clear so I can get a, a test result from exposed coating and coating that's been cased under clear. So I'll, I'll fuse this and write the date on it and keep it with my stock. So here's a look at my sample now that it's been fused. Now I can get a better idea of which of these coatings that's exposed is too scratchy to use in some of the embossing that I'm doing. So that's just an example of the, the kind of little test boards that I make up. Here's another one here. This one has quite a variety of different sheets on it that I tested. And I tested them with a texture because I wanted to see how they responded to being, being uh, folded up and down on the surface. Some of them are okay and some of them are quite scratchy. So I would strongly suggest buying these sample cards before buying any full sheets of dichro. You can even take little little cuts off of them too to uh, do test fusings on them. I think they're around a hundred dollars 
and they cover a variety of different uh, assortments. Uh, this one here is just the uh, the regular colors on on um, black, and this one's those same regular colors on clear, but they mount them on these black cardboard um, backing sheets. So what what I did is I I ripped the cardboard off and I put clear packing tape on so that I could actually see what they look like, see the transmission colors better. I actually suggested this to the company that they that they uh, package their clear samples this way, but I didn't get a response, so I don't know where they're at with that. Anyhow, they're about $100 each and they're well worth having. So, with this material there's absolutely no waste. Everything gets used. So for a, a sheet like that that has a, a fancy sparkly design on it, I'll do a, a large bowl like this. And uh, that you will know, use up a, a fair chunk of the sheet. And then I'll be able to get a, a smaller uh, dish on this side. And then I've got a, another slumping mold here that's an even smaller dish. And I can get one of these on each side of here, like this. And then the rest of this sheet that gets uh, cut up like this and then that will be made into uh, pendants and jewelry. So I'll, I'll cut these like this and grind them and heal them and make them into, uh, into pendants. And these pieces are from the sides down here, like that. So there's virtually no waste. And these little spaces in here, this waste will be cut up into half inch squares and made into earrings. And then the only actual material left over from that are the little tiny pieces here. And here's a look at that material. And what I do with this is I have uh, drop-in workshops in the summertime where people can come and design their own dishes. And they will pick through this and cut it and place it on a kiln board and then have a dish fused and slumped. And here's an example of what those dishes look like. And they're about five and a half inches wide. And I just cut a clear piece of fusing glass like this and they're placed on top and fused. And the leftover scraps from the kids' uh, summertime uh, drop-in classes, I spread out on a kiln shelf and melt a piece of clear on top and slump it into a bowl. So there's actually no waste at all. So there you go. An economical way to buy dichroic glass. There's a bit of a myth out there that dichro is expensive. It's not actually that expensive. If you did a quarter share with three other friends and you got ten sheets and cut them up into quarters and each person could experiment with ten different designs and colors, then realistically for five or six hundred bucks each you could sell a few dozen earrings and pay for your entire share. So, you know, it's really not that expensive and it's so, so playful. Alright, enjoy. I hope this has been useful.